you're listening to the Academy podcast, a podcast for people who can but don't know how. This is where you get actionable steps to turn vague dreams into blissful realities. And I'm your host, Omoshala Victoria Wolabi. So let's get started. Okay, listen up, coaches or aspiring coaches. I know running an online business is hard work. Don't let the bullshit marketers tell you otherwise. Oop, did I just say that? I did. Because I just got a bone to pick with people who advertise running an online business as a walk in the park because it is not. And that is why I have created the Client Attraction Bundle for new coaches who are struggling with finding their ideal clients. And I have realized from my own experience that it boils down to number one, finding a red hot niche, a niche that is filled with people who are waiting to buy from you. The second thing is having that camera confidence to show up on video so that you can engage with your ideal clients. And the third thing is having authentic social media posts that connect with your ideal audience to foster that relationship. Those are the foundations for any successful online business. So this episode is sponsored by our very own client attraction bundle so click on the link below to go grab your own copy of the client attraction bundle and guess what if you buy today you will get one free hour of me in a group coaching session where i will personally help you implement because what use is it when we buy stuff and don't implement this is only for action takers who are ready to start seeing some positive changes in their business So head on, click on the link in the show notes and grab your own client attraction bundle. Hello, hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Academy podcast. I'm super excited to be back. I have been away for a while. I took a break to remodel my entire business because you all know the definition of doing the same thing and expecting a different result is insanity. So there were a couple of things that were not working well in my business that I had to focus on and give immediate attention. So I had to take some time off podcasting and focus my attention on that. And I'm super excited to say I am back. Like I have worked so hard. Oh my God, so hard over the last two months. I don't think I've worked as hard at anything else than I've done the last two months. And um, I'm super excited to say it has started to show some positive results which I'm super excited about and I will be sharing with you on this journey. So yeah, super excited to be back here. As you all know, the world is experiencing some challenges at the moment, but I know that we will all get through it if we all do our part. So please, please do your part. Stay home if you don't have anything of urgency to do outside. It's best to stay home so that we can all flatten the curve. I live in New Zealand, like you all know, and right now we are currently under four week lockdown with the possibility of potential to be extended. It just depends on how, you know, the cases increase or decrease. Hopefully it decreases. So, yeah, that's what basically is going on right now. So I'm basically home with the kids. Yes, I have them with me all the time which makes it super hard to record quietly. So if you hear kitties in the background, please bear with me. I do my best to let them understand that they have to be super quiet in order for me to record this. So I want to know how you have been coping. What have you been doing to manage the whole, you know, coronavirus situation? Is your state or city currently in a lockdown? I want to know. I want to hear from you. I want to know what is going on in your state or your city. So... Yeah, feel free to post a comment beneath this episode and let me know and I will personally respond to that. Now, what I really want to talk about on this episode is basically, um, this is my welcome back episode. I'm just super excited to get back into things. And I just wanted to reach out and, you know, offer my voice or lend my voice to the fact that we will all get through this if we all do our part, you know. 
Hey everybody, it's Amoshala here with a quick word from our sponsors. You see, when you decide to become an entrepreneur, one thing you do not realize you're signing up for is actually the amount of skills that you need to learn, especially if you're bootstrapping your business and trying to do a lot of things yourself. So things like building a website, social media marketing, photography, those are skills that you need when you are getting started as an entrepreneur. And that was what I was quick to realize when I started my business. But hey, Skillshare came to the rescue. With Skillshare, I was able to go there and take tutorials from people who have been exactly where I was, but are now experts in their field. So whether you're trying to build your website, trying to learn how to market your product on social media, or trying to improve on your communication and facilitation skills, Skillshare has got you. With Skillshare, you're able to learn new skills fast and effectively with step-by-step -step guided tutorials. And as a lovely listener, Skillshare has been kind enough to allow our listeners two months free of premium Skillshare. So to access two months free of premium Skillshare, click on the link below in the show notes. I posted an article, I think it was two weeks ago, on why I am approaching this whole thing from a no panic perspective. And I shared a story about, I was a teenager back then when we had the, you know, bomb explosion in Nigeria back in the day. And it was scary. It was a scare. I think that's the scariest thing I've ever had to live through in my life. Apart from when I thought my plane was going to crash on my way to the Gambia. But that's another story for another day. But anyways, so basically we went to church that day. And from church, my aunt, I, I was um staying with my auntie at the moment at that time. And she decided from church she was going to visit some family members. I decided, nah, I'm not going to go with you because I'd been invited to a house party. Like which 17 year old would not want to go to a house party instead of some family visit? So I opted to leave them and then go home in a taxi. And when I got home, I was, you know, hurrying to get changed so I could, you know, make my way to the party. And that was when I had like the glass was shaking, the windows were shattering, the floor was shaking. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? So I came out of the house quickly and I was approaching the gate. As I got to the gate, we had these gates that you could actually see through. There were some like bars at the top and you could actually see through the gate. And even on the fence were those kind of fence that would have like really, really um, like this round circle holes in them. So I could really see on the street that all of a sudden the street just looked like, I don't know if you've seen the video of the Israelites leaving Egypt how many they were that was exactly what it looked like and people were running there was a lot of panic everywhere for some reason though I don't know what made me stay like I just literally froze there watching I think for me it was more I didn't know what to do in the moment and it just made sense to stay where I was right I was not inside the house I was just standing outside by the gate watching this pandemonium unfold and people were running through the street now I lived in the area whereby there was there was like a canal not too far, right? That, that was like a barrier between one side of town and the other side. Apparently, people were passing through our street to jump into the canal. So literally, I don't know why, but it made more sense to run away from the explosions. Obviously, at that time, we didn't really know the magnitude of what we're dealing with. So people were running away from the sound of the, it literally sounded like a war zone. It was scary. And people did not know what it was. And obviously in a panic and in a pandemonium like that, a lot of rumors were flying around. It was the end of the world. It's the Amagadon. We've been attacked. You know, different things were going on. And people were literally running. I saw like this, this was still with me forever. I saw like this man and this woman with their kids, they were literally dragging their kids along and like a little, you know, bag with them. And they were running Apparently, they were all running towards the canal, trying to swim their way to the other side of town. And it was so sad because a lot of people did not make it. A lot of people did not survive that canal situation. And apparently, what was happening was that at the barracks in Maryland, then at the cantonment, there was the armory where weapons and bombs were stored. The bombs were going off. Something happened and the bombs were going off. Now, there was a lot of damage to property, but the actual casualty rate from the explosions was very small. More people actually died from jumping into the canal trying to get away from the sound. So I learned in that very, you know, moment to no matter how bad it may be, we will be scared. And, you know, fear makes us do irrational things, I promise you. 
fear will make you act out of character. So in that moment, it seemed really wise to jump into the canal. What you would n not do on a, on a normal day seemed like the best idea in that moment. And a lot of people died. Over a thousand people died in the canal because they thought they were trying to get away from danger. So that is why I have learned to try to stay as calm as possible in a pandemic, in a pandemonium, to try and at least make sense of what's going on before I, I decide. So yeah, I would like to encourage everyone to please take a no panic approach. We will all get through this together. We, I don't think we really understand the magnitude of what we're dealing with yet because even the doctors are still learning, you know, the impact of the virus and what, you know, what, what the symptoms are and how likely we are to survive. I know there, there's been a lot of rumors floating around. First, it was black people can catch it until black people caught it. First, it was it doesn't survive in hot climate until it did. So we don't know the magnitude of what we're dealing with at the moment. However, we can all do our part until we fully understand the extent, until there are vaccines that can treat it. We can all practice social distances, all hats and no hugs, you know, and we can do our part by staying at home if we do not have to be out there. OK, so that was what I wanted to talk about in this episode, that I'm back. I'm back. I'm super excited to be back. I have been remodeling my entire business. I'm, I'm just so happy with the work that I've done. Like I, this is where I want to take my time to give myself a, a pat on the back to say, well done. Well done. You have done a great job. And yeah, keep your ears out for the next episode. And if you found this valuable, please like, comment. As creatives, it is really hard to put work out there and not get any response from it. I think as creatives, the, the biggest value or currency is acknowledgement. Just acknowledging that somebody hears you and somebody actually appreciates or learns from what you have to share. So if you found this valuable, please give a comment, give a like, post a review, please. It helps other people find it. Now, on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thank you so much for listening to this welcome back episode. And I cannot wait to, yeah, post more and see how we all get on, how we all survive this, because we will survive this. We are resilient people. We will all get through this together if we all do our part to flatten the curve. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. And for more content like this, follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook, it's at iCandemy, the Facebook page. On Instagram, it's at iCandemy. Or come say hello over on my personal page. On Instagram, it's at Omoshola Speaks. On Facebook, it's Victoria Wallaby. Feel free to reach out, introduce yourself, say hello. I love meeting you. And if you have any stories that you feel will inspire another woman to action. I want to hear from you. I really do. I love hearing from you. Send me an email to hello at icandemy.org. So it's hello at I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G. And if you find this content valuable, please rate and review on iTunes. Leave a review. It matters to us so that people can find it. So like, rate and review on iTunes, on Google Podcasts and everywhere you listen to your podcast. Thank you.